we are creating a whole set of collet racks for the ER style collets. Each size, ER 16 to 50, we're making a rack for. We started with the most popular, this is ER 16. The particular special purpose of this rack is it changes the way that you interact with it a little bit. The rack is supporting the collets from the bottom of the rack and from the bottom of the collet. Normally, the collets would be hanging from the top layer of the storage rack, which under their own weight compresses them slightly. So when you go to put a tool in there, it may not fit the way that it naturally would. And in some cases, by putting a tool in there, you can actually tighten the collet on the tool, making you think that it's tighter than it is. There is a range of compression that each collet manufacturer has for each size. But generally, once you're familiar with ER collets, what most people do is they find their tool first and then they select the collet based on how it feels. And the easy way to do that is slide it in while it's in the rack. And the benefit of this rack is that you're pushing on the collet against the bottom of the rack. So when you slide it in, the collet size is not affected at all. On most of the racks where your collet is suspended from the top, the collet actually under its own weight gets compressed a little bit and can change the feel and fit of the tool that you put in. In some cases, it can be enough to make a quarter inch end mill not fit well in a quarter inch collet. Generally, you are looking for a nice slip fit. If it's too floppy, then you need to go to a collet that is smaller. And if it's too tight, then you need to go to a bigger collet. This rack in particular helps you do that because you can slide the tool in there and you can see that there's still some play in the rack. So that's what this rack does. It eliminates that compression of the collets during storage and interaction with finding the right one. That's the real magic to this. Another benefit of the collet not being hung by the top of the rack is you don't get any wear on the collet from the rack. The material that it's made out of also aids that, so the plastic is obviously softer, very unlikely to wear or damage the collet taper itself. Other racks are either plastic with the collet suspended or larger ones may even be metal and you'll have a steel on steel interaction between your collets and the rack, which is not a great idea. It is a high density storage solution. You have 40 collets in this size of rack. This is the ER16. That size or the capacity rather will vary based on the series of collets. The 32s obviously won't fit as many in the size format. They're designed to be multi-purpose. They are mainly for use for the ER collets and to solve the compression problem, but the diameters are also configured to work for standard tooling sizes. So you can use this rack to store other things like dowel pins, end mills, brooches, any other round common size tooling that you have. So there's two choices in the color. The red is the most traditional industrial tool storage color, is really good for hiding dirt and oil and grime, uh, but it also maintains a high contrast for making the tools and tooling highly visible. We do offer the gray, maybe you want it to blend in more instead of stand out, but this is another example of the application of the racks is these will hold standard 5 8 collets of other sizes like these that are made for the hardened chucker lathes. The other sizes of racks that we're going to be making are the rest of the ER series. So we've started working on the ER 20s which we have here and we're going to go up to the ER 32s, 25s, 40s, and 50s as well. So there'll be a different number in each rack, but it will be the same profile size. So it will be modular to fit in your drawers the same way, no matter how many different kinds or sizes of collets that you have. The collet rack's overall size is eight and a half by five and a half inches. They are going to be shipped disassembled, but it is a quick, easy assembly process. You will get the plates with the backing on them. 
the racks are countersunk on the top sides, so the screws end up really nice and flush. So you have four screw posts that match up with each hole and you've got a set of eight screws that come with the kit and you literally just screw the posts into the panels top and bottom very quick and easy it's all universal there's no one direction to fit this is what it's going to look like after assembly you've got your four screws flat heads flush on the top and four on the bottom these are available right now on ebay and we're adding them to our website tigermothracing.com this is an exclusive product through us we manufacture and distribute this directly ourselves this is a system that helps you interact with the tools that's really what it was uh, designed to do to make your process of selecting tools and tool holders and collets easier and more fun. It streamlines that process, takes out any frustration, makes it easier for you. That's the real goal. It's a modular system, so you can fit it in pretty much any size drawer and configure it and stack it in any direction to best fit your drawer density. You can also go around it with other things like foam to keep them from moving around or what we like to do usually if we can get it to fit are the regular red shower bins we will use to fit any gaps around the corners. Mm -hmm.